New tonight, Northwood's eSports team is on the cusp of something special. Members have put in countless hours trying to stay ahead of the game, and that time eventually paid off with a North American championship. TV5's Trevor Sahaki reports they now have their eyes on a bigger prize. Way, way back getting boost. This is the video game Rocket League. By a blaze. A good flick. Esports is competitive gaming at the highest level. Think of it as like a digital playing field. Oh, it's open. Lion Blaze. He did he do Lion it? He's Blaze. done it. That's Cody Elson. Which is a big common misconception that it's just a bunch of, you know, kids in the basement playing games. He's Blaze. done it for Northwood. It's, um, it, it's evolved to so much more than that. The championship comes home to Northwood. He's the head coach of the Northwood Esports program. And it's the ace, Lion Blaze, over the top. The team won the Collegiate Rocket League North American Championship. They're the first university to qualify for June's inaugural World Championship in Dallas. As much as like a football or basketball player is passionate about their sport, you know, these you know, student athletes here at Northwood on our varsity esports team, for example, are just as passionate about what they do. And Northwood has become a mecca for esports. The team won four different national titles in three different games in the last year. It was just a game me and all my friends played growing up and we just played it for so long, eventually we kind of got good at it. Zach Wood studies entrepreneurship. He didn't even know Northwood had an esports program until he met Cody on a tour of campus. Now, the junior is the captain of the varsity squad for Smite. It's cool to think that my name will forever be attached to like one of the first colleges that ever gave esports a chance. And more and more schools are following in Northwood's footsteps. You know, a lot of these traditional sports were losing viewership to esports. Um, you used to have things like League of Legends that one year had more viewers than the, the Super Bowl. Northwood's gamers put in crazy hours, especially in their underground facility. This is the program's training room, lockers, and film studio all in one. Some of these players spend upwards of 30 to 40 hours under these LEDs. And yeah, they like it this dark. It lets you have a little more... Assistant coach Jacob Jacob spends time reviewing game footage with the new Super Smash Bros. team. They just started last semester. This is a relatively new program, and so a lot of the guys are very eager to learn. Some of them practice, you know, all the time. I try not to do too much for them. I try not to overwork them, but they are willing to. Though the fights might be virtual, the money is very real. One thing that makes esports so unique is that the prize money is yours. Some tournaments have prize pools of $50,000. Players could take home 10,000 each. Most put the money toward tuition. Any left over is theirs to keep. And Northwood put its own money behind the eSports program. I started off with a basic scholarship and now I think I'm at um, the second largest scholarship that Northwood offers. That's $6,000 according to Woods. And if he wins a big tournament, that money plus his scholarship will cover tuition for the semester and some. Coach rewards success and he wants you to put in the work and when you do, uh, it'll show. He's one of several players in the program on scholarship. It's not this, uh, you know, brain melting thing that people think. There's a lot of positive um, aspects to it. Those winnings and scholarship money legitimize the program. Elson wants parents to see the potential too. Try to understand what your your kid is doing and it's not just somebody that's loading in to play a video game and not socializing. There's a lot of social aspects to it. There's a lot of team building, team bonding, critical thinking, and important skills that your kid's actually, you know, learning um, by just playing video games. In Midland, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5. The eSports team ended its regular season with a 13-2 record. The World Championships run from June 3rd through the 5th.